How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and I'm sorry if the lighting is dog water. I haven't set up all the lights in my room yet. I apologize for that but the video must go on. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at one of those Instagram accounts that you might have seen from time to time that just shit posts all of the garbage that you don't wanna buy. We're gonna be going through and seeing what they're selling and seeing if it's actually something people might want or if it's just garbage that your grandma might buy you when she hears that you're into cars. It's all just cheap China products. And they always just seem to have that like one specific purpose. And it's just like, I guess that would sort of help sort of in that one scenario. So there's definitely like a slim market for it, but I just don't see the point. So we're today, we're going to be taking a look at one of those accounts. If you see any accounts like this, tag me. Let's go ahead and dive right in. All right. So we're looking at auto for parts today. I guess it kind of works as like a little shout out. Although I don't think you guys want any of this garbage. They can look at it like that. It's a little shout out. You're welcome, guys. This is free advertising for you guys. We're just going to go through their uh, recent posts and see if they're worth anything. All right, first one. I, I see an iPhone. I see someone saying hold the flashlight over it. Don't know what they're referring to, but let's take a look. So they have copyrighted music playing, so I'm gonna have to put my own music over it. But one thing I gotta point out right off the bat is the will run license plate on the 528i. You're going nowhere. The 528i. You're not outrunning shit. You, you have some big expectations for that BMW. Not all BMWs are created equally, however, and you got the short end of the stick on this one. That being said, it looks like they're selling some sort of highly illegal opaque license plate. Uh, either that or it's just a digital license plate that can turn on and off. I really can't tell. It looks pretty thick for just like an opaque license plate frame. I think it's pretty obvious and I don't think I, I you need a lawyer to know this. That's definitely illegal and I definitely would not rely on this cheap China product to get you out of jail. Like if you're trying to get through a toll booth or something or you're on a tollway, I could see it maybe working, but if you flip this on and you run from the police, that's another charge right there. And in the 528i, that just, that, that's not the move there. Not the move, brother. In concept, it's cool, but in practice, no, just no, don't do it. I'm sure some takeover idiots will buy this, wire it in wrong, and then create an electrical fire. Good job. All right, next product, crystal shift knob, half for all cars. Cool. Uh, it's not a shift knob, it's a gear select, but whatever. So they play some really shitty music too, whatever. That being said, not that bad. Honestly, this one doesn't upset me too much. Um, I'm sure it's really cheaply made and probably will last a month or two. But it doesn't look half bad. If you're going for like a VIP build or you just want to up your automatic gear select, I guess this would be a good product for you. Uh, like I said, though, probably not going to last very long. But in the cases where it is on, it looks it doesn't look half bad. Drew appreciates some things. Would I do this to my cars? No. But I could see this being for that special person. All right. We already know what this is. We got the Brembo cover, which is funny because this doesn't say Brembo anywhere on it, but Brembo cover. So the funny thing about this is, um, is Tesla's allegedly, I don't want to be sued for slander here, but apparently Tesla's use fake caliper covers similar to this, which is embarrassing already. But I mean, I, whatever, I guess, you know, those people will, will buy $2,000 updates for their cars. So it is what it is. However, um, 
Yeah, if if you're putting like I've seen caliper covers so many times at car meets, and it's always on like the biggest pieces of shit out there, and it's just blatantly obvious when it is a caliper cover because usually they don't look as detailed as this one. Usually it's just like a flat piece of aluminum that says like Mustang on it or something like that. This one, um, although I still would be able to tell it is a caliper cover, it's got a little bit more detail. It's got like some hardware. It's got like a fake brake line running too. It's a little bit more detailed. This is definitely on the on the higher end. I just, I don't think I would really trust it attached to my caliper. I don't know how it attaches and everything. I'm not looking at it too in detail because I'm not their, their market for this. I really don't care. But I would really hate for that thing to come loose at 60 miles an hour because Let's keep it a buck here. The people that are buying this are not, they're not speeding. They, they, they might think they are, but they're not. Um, but yeah, I'm sure people buy this all the time. Don't though. Just don't. All right. This one says car window hatch lift available for all cars. I don't know what they're selling, but I see an OBD2 port. So let's take a look. So I don't know if this actually works or if this is all just fake. I know from factory, some cars, if you just hold the unlock button, it'll roll down the windows. I think my Honda Accord used to do that. The Subaru sadly does not do that. And I don't think any of my other cars do that, but I don't want some cars that just, that just happens. So I, I don't, I don't know if plugging some bullshit into your OBD2 would make that happen. It would make sense to a certain extent, but it would have to be programmed with a separate remote. One would fit. I don't know. I just, I don't care. It's probably all a scam anyways. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, at least it's allegedly a scam. I'm not getting su sued here, so I'm going to protect myself there. I highly doubt that it works, but it might. Um, but don't buy it. Still don't buy it. Oh, no. I didn't edit those noises in, obviously. Um, and you see what I mean by something very specific? Like, they had a universal car mount that just connects to your fucking AC vent. But instead, they custom made an, a border for their radio, for their screen, for this very specific car. Just Why not use the universal one? Why not make a, a new universal one? So you'll have a larger market instead of this very specific car mount that has to go all the way around your stereo bezel. It does, like, you see what I'm saying here? Uh, this is what I meant at the beginning by very specific scenarios. I'm sure it works for this Honda, but it ain't going to work for the Mustang. It ain't going to work for the Corolla. It ain't going to work for the, the, the Camaro. It, you just cut off 99% of the market by specifically making it for this one car. Stupidity. All right, let's see what this guy's gonna do here. Anti-door shocker. Okay, well, let's take a look. They went from slamming the absolute shit out of the doors to gently closing it. And they're acting like that's a big difference. This guy is putting his whole weight into it. His back into it. This guy's damn near getting scoliosis trying to close his fucking car door. And then they have a furry close the door with one paw. Oh, it's not a furry. Why did I think it was a furry? It looked like they were... Whatever. I don't care. Regardless, that's a big difference. And just on top of the subject of whatever bullshit product they're trying to sell here, which we've seen in the past, that would not stop a slammed car door from violently sh vibrating or shocking everything, as they're saying. Those things are like five millimeters thick. That's not stopping much. They're not even like spongy. These are just for grandmas to buy. Why am I overthinking this? We've seen these in the past too. I just like how dumb this advertisement was. I don't know why I thought that was a person in a furry costume. I don't know why I didn't. I'm not a furry. All right, what's this? I think I know what it is, but let's just take a look. Yeah, I don't know why you would want a giant LED strip underneath your hood, especially when you're going to close your hood, but whatever. Also, installing it like that, although 
would work temporarily. I don't think that would survive driving on the road and having the vibrations of driving for very long, especially around the, the, the negative terminal, just wrapping it like that. That's not going to last very long. That's an accident waiting to happen. I wouldn't recommend doing that. Um, the, the product itself is whatever. I mean, it looks sort of cool. What I do with any of my cars, no, but I could see the appeal to, you know, middle-aged white women or something, you know, or, uh, I don't know, other idiots, other people that fall in that category. I just don't like how they made it look like you should install it like that. Definitely don't install it like that. That's a very bad idea. All right, let's take a look at this one. My brain is getting numb from watching these. Sticker monitor. I don't know what that even means. So I don't know why they call this a sticker or a monitor because it's neither it's just like a shitty lcd screen that being said i feel like i've already seen stuff like this at car meets sadly um so they've already got a few idiots out here buying this shit i don't think it's a good idea to tell the person behind you fuck you especially with how crazy society is nowadays not a good idea um don't get the emojis either but the other ones like overtake or stop or probably suck my dick those would probably be good ones I, I would i would like those or you know what even better for racing put sell it that'd be gold right there i would buy that i would put one in every single one of my cars and just boop, right when i pass them sell it that'd be perfect however these not so funny the crying emojis one would actually be kind of funny too you know what it'd be like emoting in clash royale just <laughs> that'd be pretty funny all right, that's what I actually kind of like. I actually kind of like the, the idea of this one just because of how dumb it would be, but it'd be so fun. All right, we'll look at like one or two more. Let's take a look at the Mini Smart GPS. I feel like they picked every single worst spot imaginable. Let's break this down. We got one in the license plate frame, barely even holding on. Okay, just already a bad idea. That's not gonna stay. One on the seatbelt, unless your partner is notoriously never wearing their seatbelt. Very bad idea, just wouldn't recommend that. One in the door handle, unless your partner climbs out the window every time they park. Probably a bad idea for that one as well. This one, although seems like a good idea, the moment they turn on the windshield wipers, it might come off, might not. Just, I wouldn't risk it. There's a lot of wind going around there. Wouldn't risk that one. And then this one, unless they never put gas, also not a great idea. I also find it very hard to believe that something that small can have a long enough battery life and GPS tracking that accurately. I just I just find that very hard to believe. However, I could be wrong and ignorant in the subject, so I will just ignore what I just said. I just have my doubts is what I'm trying to preach. That being said, uh, just throw it under the carpet. Just do that, throw it in the fucking trunk. There's like a infinite better areas to throw this thing than wherever they showed, so there you go. All right, last one. LED freshener on sale. Why does everything have to have LEDs nowadays? I didn't even see any fucking LEDs. Didn't even see any LEDs. And this just looks like a humidifier. Why you would want your car humidified, I don't know. I feel like that would just fog up all the windows, but I again, I could be wrong there. So not only not an LED, also not a freshener, unless this is an air freshener, in which case this, that car must smell more intense than the fragrance aisle in the mall. Like, the, like the, just that much air freshener going off that rapid, this dude would be high just from inhaling that. I also like how they hide the power cable. Like, oh, look, it looks like it's just battery powered. That could just be sitting in your car. But then if you look very, very closely in the last shot, well, not that closely, but it cuts really quick. There is a little power cable that's tethered to it. So maybe it's rechargeable, maybe not. However, right here, it's tethered. So uh, also that's not a good spot for it. It's going to be flopping around. Just dumb idea. Just like who would buy this? I don't know who would buy this. Why would anyone buy this? Who needs a humidifier for their car? Never. I've never ran into that scenario. I've never been driving around my super like, damn a little too dry in here i need a humidifier I've never i've never had that idea whatever i mean there's a market for this shit anyways hopefully you guys did enjoy this video i know you guys wouldn't enjoy the product so this is the closest we're ever gonna get to them these just baffle me every time there's new shit coming out every week it seems and they just get worse and worse however send them to me they're funny as shit to look at
Anyways, hopefully you did enjoy this. If you did, let me know down below. Subscribe, and until next video, peace.